Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. One of the things about living in a world-class ski destination is the number of visitors that come in and out of the valley. Well, I'm sitting here with Mike Vendel from the Vale Police Department. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to keep you and your equipment safe with everybody coming in and out of town. Mike, how are you today? Not too bad, can't complain. You're good, good. Well, a lot of things happening. We're gonna get more and more visitors coming to the valley, especially with the snowfall that's happened. And I hear stories all the time of someone going out to the ski rack to get their skis and they're not there. So how can we protect, especially those locals that are here with all the visitors coming in, how can we keep track of our skis? I think there's two things that I would recommend is that some, um, there's um, equipment to lock up your gear. So I think that's, a, you know, a couple dollar investment. Another thing I tell people for skis is that if they have skis, you know, put one in one location and put another ski in another location. Because I think, you know, if I was a thief, I'm always going to try to, you know, take what's easiest. So if I right. see a nice set of skis and they're right there and they're super close to where I want to walk and get away, I'm going to grab those. If you make it a little more difficult, then I think it's, you know, there's a higher likelihood that your stuff won't get stolen. You know, I, I never thought about that. That's a great idea is kind of splitting them up. And that even will prevent accidental because a lot of the times if you've got something similar to what the rental shops have going out, uh, which is very dangerous if you get in there and the dim settings aren't where they're supposed to be, but great, great idea. Now, have you had any issues so far this season with ski thefts? Unfortunately, we don't, you know, it's not something we love talking about, but, you know, it's important for us, you know, me to come out here and tell people just to be aware of it. You know, times are tough for a lot of people, so I think people are looking to make a buck or, you know, get something for free. So it's, right. you know, we don't love talking about it, but it does happen. So that's why we do the ski registration. That's why we tell people to separate their stuff, just make it more difficult to, for the thief. Right. So if you want to register it, how does that happen? What, what information is needed? So you can do a couple different ways is that um, this coming Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12.30 at Gondola One, um, we're going to do a ski registration. So you can come out there. It's a super easy process. It probably takes a minute at most. There's a QR code. Just scan the QR code, enter your information in there. If you can't make it to our ski registration, you can go onto our website and then just do it there. Enter all your information there if you want to do it at 2 o'clock in the morning or whatever you're <laughs> thinking about. And then we'll send you a sticker to put on there that says registered with the Vail Police. So... If you want to show up to um, show up on Saturday, that's fine. If you want to do it anytime, 24 hour, 24 seven, just go to our website and just follow it. It's it's very easy. Yeah, and that'd be a great thing to do. Getting the registration done so you get that sticker. That alone will be a deterrent that the people will know this ski has been registered. So yep, you absolutely. can't really resell it or try to do anything like that. Yep. And if we have if we have that information, and I also tell people is that if you know the serial number, it's good to write that down someplace at home in case something happens. And then if you put something on there, you put your initials or you put some sort of sticker on there, anything that differentiates your equipment from somebody else is a huge help for us. Because, right. you know, a lot of skis look the same, like you said, you know, you're yep. going into a rental place, all the skis look the same, people are on vacation, they're not thinking, you know, 100%. So if you put a sticker on there or something goofy that differentiates your equipment, yeah. that's always a good thing to do. Great. Well, we talked about skis, keeping those safe and sound. How about people out there? What have you seen that we can give to the viewers, things to look out for, things to be cautious of here in the community? Yeah, like you said, it's, it's definitely getting into our busy time and things like that. So I always tell people is that, you know, trust your instinct, trust your gut. You know, if you're walking, it doesn't have to be in Vail. It can be any place, Denver, or wherever, you know, people are from. Is that if something doesn't seem right, trust your gut and, you know, if somebody's found you, then call them out on there or do something like that. It's just, you know, always be aware. I don't want everybody to be, you know, freaking out and think there's bad guys all around. But right. just have some situational awareness is what we call it. Just being aware of your surroundings and saying, hey, you know what? This guy over here doesn't look like everybody else. Or this guy is doing something different. It's, it's all about the behavior. Right. This guy's, you know, everybody else is focused this way. This person over here is doing something different. Then maybe I should, you know, just be aware of that guy, just to, you know, protect myself and my family. Just a surrounding awareness. Yep. Now we talk about all the time on the news too. Looking at the Maddie does the weather. We talk about the road report. A lot of precipitation coming down. Some temperatures going up and down, creating some snow melt. And then we're seeing the single digits at night. As far as people driving on the roadway, what are some of your suggestions there? I think the big thing is just don't be in a hurry. You know, I know we're all trying to get on the mountain. I know there's a powder day. I know there's a whole bunch of, you know, awesome stuff happening. If you don't get there safe, then, you know, what's really the point? And then, right. I, you know, I always tell people is that, you know, 
you know, people driving, people do crazy stuff driving. You know, I, I've seen some amazing stuff in my life of <laughs> people driving, and I don't know how more bad stuff didn't happen. But it's, you know, giving the car in front of you or the car next to you some space, you know, and just not, you know, it's not in the summertime, so you can't get, you know, right on, you know, right behind them. So give them that couple car link space, turn the radio up, just have a good time, and, you yeah. know, just, just don't be in a hurry to get where you're trying right. to go to. We always talk to people about pe there's in patient drivers mm -hmm. and once they get behind some of those snow plows that are trying to get out there and do their jobs just slow down let them do their job be prepared for that i mean that's going to happen this time of year so give them some space as well yep i mean and you know it's we've all been behind the plows and we know it's like okay i gotta go 30 miles an yeah. hour so i'm gonna be late to work but at the end of the day if you think about it, hey you know what they're just trying to make the road safe for everybody so if it takes me an extra four minutes to get to work then I i'm sure i'll survive right right <laughs> Well, Mike, thank you for giving us all those tips. Let's keep our skis safe and sound, and let's keep ourselves on schedule so we can get to point A, point B, get out there and enjoy those mountains. Special thank you to Mike and the Vail Police Department for everything you do. Again, appreciate all the hard work. We'll be back soon with more Good Morning Vail.